So what is a pilot? It does sound like a tricky word, and no, we don't mean an airplane pilot. It's actually really quite different. Um, and a pilot, it's a chance to experiment, it's a test, it's a trial, um, it's looking for proof of concept. Basically, it's taking the ideas that you have and seeing how well it works before you make it a lot bigger. So an experimental or preliminary test or trial of your solution on a limited scale. So the idea of doing a pilot is to test an idea. You're trying to prove that your idea can be done. Um, it's something that's small. Less than 20 people are involved, fewer than three events. Um, it would also mean focusing on a small set of content or um, maybe just one classroom if you're doing something for education. It's something that's simple. It's a place where you can easily make mistakes and change things. Nothing is permanent or irreversible. Um, and it also leads to incremental benefits. The impact of a pilot will probably be small, but that's okay. It's the space where you're testing things out to find out what's working, what doesn't work, what would need to be improved before you make something bigger. Um, it's really a, a space for freedom to see what you could do to make your idea even better. So when would you do a pilot and why would you do a pilot? Here is a test case that a lot of people might be able to relate to. Uh, what you're looking at here is a sand castle, uh, a small castle or other building made with wet sand on the beach. So here's the situation. You are at the beach. There are not any sand castles on the beach. That doesn't really feel like a beach day. So your solution is you're gonna build a sand castle. Probably not like this. Uh, but it might be what you have in mind. That is the big idea. A gorgeous sandcastle would really make this beach so much better. Unfortunately, you've never made a sandcastle before. Or maybe not. Maybe you're like me. I'm sort of in this um, one, two, three range of things. Uh, trying things out for the first time. Not so good at it. Um, so this is the pilot phase. The one, two, three. Once you've got the basic skills down of making a sandcastle, you can get into things that are a little more exciting. Uh, once you know how to work with the wet sand and you have a great system for getting more water over from the beach um, and the various tools that you would need to do um, to make a big sandcastle. So going back, the pilot like this actually looks like a lot of fun and helps you get closer to here. So when we're piloting, we want to test feasibility. We want to make sure that the idea that we have is something that can be done. Um, and there are a lot of reasons why the idea you have might not be doable. Um, it could be you or your team don't have the skills that you need to do it well. Uh, you want to know that you have resources to do something. Um, and once you have resources, maybe there are other resources you didn't know about. Um, you'll learn about what kind of support you need to keep that project going in the longer term. And any policies or processes or things that might make it um, difficult to do your idea or test your project on a larger scale. It's really important to find that out early during the pilot phase so that you can plan to be successful with something larger. Um, another reason to pilot is to understand the impact of your work. Um, sometimes the best ideas can require a lot of work, but they don't actually do that much. Um, your ideas about what you might be accomplished with a project or an idea um, may not actually be relevant, may not be true. Um, finally, we want to minimize future risk. So we want to lower the risk of things like volunteer burnout, wasting money, losing trust, um, you want to minimize the risk of directing people to a place where there's nothing there for them or various other pro problems. Um.